In version 31, we rolled out a brand new NC editor. The editor has full NC editing capabilities with the ability to simulate directly from the NC code for a three axis milling, four axis milling, and two axis lathe, with plans to expand further in the future. The NC Editor standard product comes with any Bobcad software system, but can be upgraded to the Pro version to add the capability to simulate the program. Now to get inside the NC Editor, we first have to right click on Milling Job, and then say Post, and then the G code is going to show up right down here in the Posting tab. Then we right click in the Posting tab, and say NC Editor. Now once inside the NC Editor, we have the Edit tab, which allows us to cut, copy, paste, delete, whatever we need to do to the G code. You could think of all this G code that we see here as now being in a text editor. You can go in and you can change whatever you want about that code. You can type in whatever you'd like. So you can make your changes manually right through here. You could also do a Find which will allow you to find certain features, certain functions that you'd be searching for text-wise inside the G-code. We also have a replace, which is just like a find, but it's also going to replace. We have a go-to line, which allows me to just come in and say, I want to go to line 200 and hit OK, which is going to take me down until we see line 200. Now, it's not using your line numbers, not N200. It's the line 200 inside the code. Now, we could also use this option here to resequence our line numbers and if we click this numbering it's going to renumber everything so you see it actually started it up here at the percent sign so i'd want to delete that one and then all my numbering would be correct right here is remove any blank lines, so that's going to get rid of any blank lines in the program and then we also have remove spaces so that's going to get rid of all the spaces inside the program now I'll go ahead and hit undo we also have the feed rate and the spindle speed control so if I go right here to the feed rate, we'll see right now my feed rate is at 89.2592 and 178.5. If I go into the feed rate or the spindle speed, it gives me the ability to override and update that spindle speed or that feed rate depending on how I choose it. So I'm going to say let's do the whole file, and I'm going to change my units to imperial, and I'm going to say 200%. So I'm not doing anything else, and then I just hit OK. And what it does is it takes all of my feed rates, and in this case, doubles them to 200% what they were originally. So then I'll go ahead and hit Cancel. The next one we have is the View tab. Now, the View allows me to collapse or expand the code. It allows me to find first and second tool numbers just by clicking on the next tool change. I only have one tool in this program, so we won't see too much. You could also change your comments. So you could actually have it find each individual comment and next through it. You can also compare two sets of G-code. So when you click compare, it's going to have you pull up another file that you can compare to the file that you already have open. And then the next function we can look at is the simulate tab. Now on the simulate tab, we have the ability to backplot our code as well as verify the code. So what I'll do is I'm going to turn on my coordinate system, and I'm going to turn off this big axis lines that we have in the screen here. And I just want to go ahead and rotate this part so that it looks kind of like how I want to machine it. So I want to have my X going to the right, my Y going away, and my Z coming up. But now if I go up to the top and say verification, and then say reset, you'll see that it now brings in some stock that I can view. And if I go ahead and hit play, I can actually watch these parts get cut in. Now the big difference is that this isn't using just toolpath that Bobcad made. This is actually using the G code to run through these parts and make sure we get proper cuts. Now with the verification option on, we're seeing the stock as well as the cuts. The back plot option is just showing us the toolpath. Right here you have your controller. Right here's the resolution or how clean everything looks when we simulate. And then we have our main program. Right here we have all of our views. So we have top, bottom, front, back, left, right, isometric, and then fit to the screen. Now in the pro version you have the ability to do the verification. You also have the ability to define your own tools. So you can define both tools, holders, work offsets, stock, and a lot more. And then the last page here on the tools, we just have our toolpath statistics as well as the start DNC transfer, which allows me to use an RS-232 to actually transfer this G-code to my machine. I just have to set up my port, baud rate, parity, data bits, stop bits, flow control, and if I had to add anything else to the line send delay or anything like that, and then I just hit send, and it would start sending out to my machine. And that concludes the video on the NC Editor Overview for version 31.